Breakfast with Baby Podcast. We up early in the morning, early in the AM. My co-host is uh, in the crib. And it's me, Infinity, Troll Zero. <laughs> Fucking with the trolls today, man. I, you know, we ain't never really... At first, I used to be like, man, we're not even going to give it no energy. Troll Nation, we ain't going to give that shit no energy. Because we, the energy was pumping cakes. But now, I'm not really pumping cakes no more. They over there pumping cakes. I'm doing my thing, family man, chilling. Making catching up for lost time and other and some other kid like in my other kids' life, even though you can't do that, but in my head, I don't know. I just I don't know, you know. Uh you came out can't make up for I never changed my oldest daughter, Joy Bowles, I never changed her diaper ever in my life. Um I missed the first six years of her life. And so, when string bean came, I was like, out of my way. I go out of my way to, to change. My, I didn't mind changing. The bro, too, I changed. I don't mind changing. Diaper expert. The, uh, the diaper genie. That's me, huh? I don't, because, like, I missed that for my oldest. Never, never changed the diaper. I got locked up when she was not even six weeks. Missed the first six years of her life. But shout out to the trolls. Um, I might start giving y'all some attention now because it's. I'm I'm a, I'm a professional Facebook. I'm a professional Meta content creator now. I'm focusing over here now cuz Meta is the place that pays. So, it's the place that I stay. I ain't really been I'm I'm still getting it together. I ain't even really been on my other TikTok day. TikTok is TikTok tripping. They're not letting you get, just get that, get that traction no more. Especially if they flag, I think and they flag, they flag and everybody, everybody account is a, is a, is, is kind of like a flagged account on TikTok. You done, done something. It's a whole different country though. They tripping over there. But, uh, you know, I never really just paid attention to the trolls because just like, hey, at least they, you know, but I never really just got into the, into the comments, but, but that's because of the, you know, because you'll see a hundred positive comments and then it's that one negative comment that, that'll get your game, that it, that'll just catch your eye, to get your attention. And, um, so I was just like, man, you know what? I ain't finna. Engage. I, at one point, when I first started this social media stuff, uh, my engagement was one two hundred, and that's another thing. Like I used to be, my engagement was on two hundred. You think 100, 200. If you liked one of my pictures, I would like three of your pictures. You come in on my page, I will come coming on yours, and I'm answering. So you know, but it just got after the. It just got so overwhelming because it's just so many. Cause then I'll be a, I'll be spread across like so many different platforms. So now I got like five accounts on one phone, another four on the, on the, you know different accounts on another phone. I'm just all day, just screened in. They got me hooked. They got us all hooked though. But uh, it's really kind of. It's kind of like a, 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 it's really kind of like a, a shameful, uh, t taboo, a shameful fetish or something. Like, you know, it's just like, 
just the the uh, the obsession with the phone and just being just how the phone has everybody. I'm not just speaking. I'm talking about everybody. It got everybody. String bean. She not even 30 months yet. She already got it down. She already getting up. Uh, getting them all. Uh, getting programmed. With the with the whole dopamine hits, the the slot machine, this the 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 slot machine, uh, process brain process. You know what I mean? Oh man! But anyways, but I don't know, man. I fuck with these trolls, man. Cause then sometimes I answer you, or I answer a troll or use it as a topic, a subject. You know what I mean? Just to have some content. Ah, fuck the trolls. This and that, this and that. But it ain't nothing personal. It's the internet. You already lost. If you come to me, if you coming at me on, on my platform, you fucking already lost. Because it's like, damn, I'm going to give you a story. Let me tell you why I'm really. Because I really always, this the best troll story I have so far. And this is from, I just, this just happened. Not even. Two or three days ago, I got troll in my inbox. A troll hit me. One of my old cellies. A celly I had from in prison. That's why I say, first six years of Joe Bobo's life, I, I was in prison. Six years. So, now I got a chance to tell the story. And, uh, and I'm not even really just, I'm not no, I'm not no, uh, I'm not really into the, to the, uh, war story that's not my vibe you know what i mean the, the prison war story and all that stuff uh my pri prison uh if 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 somebody were to ask me uh if i were to summarize my prison experience in one sentence or if 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 i want to share my experience, my prison experience with someone younger or somebody, you know, like a young teen or just somebody that in one sentence, prison for me was a waste of my fucking life. I wasted years. I wasted them. Wasted years. <laughs> that shit's a fucking waste of like literally it's really prison literally is a place where uh man just the uh, it's just a waste of just time you in there you you go to sleep you're in, a, you're in a cell, a six by maybe ten foot cell. You and another guy, right? There's no air condition. You that you you can go down in this in a day room, a room with two TVs, a TV on that end and a TV on this end, and a bunch of steel benches. A day room that can hold a hundred people. When a hundred people in there is is loud as fuck. And there's a TV with the regular channels on there. Uh, so you got regular TV. You can go to child. You can go to the rec yard where they have a basketball goal and a couple machine weights. You maybe can walk around. Uh, maybe take a GED class. Um, maybe get a job. In the kitchen, serving trays, right? You can do that for eight hours a day. You go to the kitchen, serve people trays, and then clean up the kitchen. You know, go in, fix the food, serve it, and clean up. Go. You can do that every day for eight hours, or you can go to the laundry and go in and wash the, everybody' clothes, and then when they go to the shower, you can pass them out. You can do that for eight hours a day every day 
or you can go to the field and for, hey, you can get a job. This is what I'm. These are the jobs. You can go to the field and pick fucking vegetables or pick cotton, <laughs> depending where you are, or fucking hit the fucking dirt for eight hours of the day. Most host squads is the majority job, right? Most of the unit be on a host squad. And most host squads literally go outside every, well, Monday through Friday for four or five hours a day with the Aggie, a hoe, like a, a Aggie hoe, just a hoe, and they hit the fucking dirt for four hours or five hours out of the day, every day. They hit the fucking dirt all at the same time in the line. Everybody hitting the dirt at the same time. While the man on the horse, the, the, uh, what's the fucking, uh, host squad boss or whatever, the fucking sitting on the horse watching you. You can do that on Monday. So, like I said, it's a fucking waste of my life. I sat in there, I read books and magazines and newspapers all day. That's like the that was the least that I could do for myself. So don't be so so it's like don't be that is so that's probably like okay. Here this is why my I have like this pretty vast subject matter. You know what I mean? Like I'm pretty my subject matter is pretty. I'm not this. I'm not even close to s smarter than. Somebody that's like real smart at something, but you know, I read some books. Uh, but other than that, that shit was a fucking waste of my life. I mean, I wait, I wasted my life anyway. So now, let me tell you this story. Uh, I, I'm in the kind of give me time. I go off to a uh, butt naked gurney, stay there. For a couple months, go to uh, Dionysus in Huntsville. They sh they send me to my ID unit, Angleton. Now I'm in Angleton, Texas. Wayne Scott, no leave retrieve. This is a unit that was like, I think they built it in 1913. It's the, it's the same brick. I'm talking about Guantanamo Bay. This unit, all the windows in the day room, like. On the run, all the windows busted out. Fucking, like, this shit was, like, literally, it's birds in there with you. You know what I mean? Like, some of the fucking, some of the cell doors, you could pop them holes open yourself, you know, <laughs> go in and out of it. But anyway, so, man, I, I pulled up just on the, so now, just, I'm, I'm telling you this 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 story because my this is this guy my silly this is my silly when I pulled up to this unit my silly my first silly at this unit I'm in three seventeen three row seventeen so I'm in this cell with this motherfucker named Rico so I'm, so they already playing so I'm in there you be fresh shaved you know what I'm saying you look, I'm probably in that mud looking like I'm they probably thought I was like they probably thought I was like eighteen nineteen. I'm coming in. I'm really like, let me see. 26. Uh well 20. I'm probably 27, 28. They probably play me like I'm 18, 19, or whatever, you know what I mean? I don't even have my I don't even have my apply. I, I'm so new on the unit. Like I don't even have my my special items yet. Like I don't even have a radio or nothing. So my silly, he sleep, he in the top bunk, I'm in the bottom bunk. He like to, he sleep with his fan on, but he got the fan on the floor. Like, pointed up. He up under the, under the, under the, the sheet and the blanket, and he got his thermal suit on, like his pajamas. He got the thermal top and the bottom, and he up under the, you know, he got the freezing in the cell. I don't even have no fan. So... I'm like, bro, 
put your fan up there with you. You know what I mean? So I get up. He tripping my fan. You know, the lobby tripping. So I don't know what the fuck he was tripping on. You know what I mean? So I get up one night, man. Freezing that bitch. I cut that boy fan out. You know what I mean? So I go back to sleep. So he jumped down. He cut the fan back on, you know what I mean? So now, I get up. I'm like, say, silly, man, it's cold. I'm cold in this bitch, bro. I don't even got, I don't have no thermals or none of that shit. I don't have, I'm like, bro, why you don't put the fan up there in the bunk with you if you just that, you know what I'm saying? So, he jumped down. He like, nah, fuck that. He plug his phone back up. I get up. I don't even have no, that's how, this how I knew. When I, so I get up. I don't even have no shower slides yet. This how new I am on the unit. The time I just pulled up, I might have been on the unit not even a week or two. So I don't even got no shower slides. So I get up, I sit up in my bunk, and I put my shoe, I put my feet in my shoes. So I guess the dude thought like I'm strapping up on him, but really I'm just really just sitting up. You know what I'm saying? Like say, bro, put your, you know what I'm saying? You can't put your your fan up there with you, bro. It's cold. So he jumped down. You know what I'm saying? So now. He start putting his shoes on. So now I'm like, shit, well, fuck it. You know what I mean? So now I done got up. He just tied his shoes up. And shoe, he stand up. So now we, we in the cell. The cell is six feet by 10 feet. So he's like, what's up? You strapping up? I'm like, shit. I'm like, bro, you tripping by this fan? He's like, shit, you strapping up? So now we standing up. So he swing. I kind of move back. I catch him, he fall on the bump. So now he on my bump. I kick this boy hot pot over, right? And it's, you can hear us now, it's tusty. Like, you know what I mean? Because he on the bump. I got him on my bump. And when I swing again, I kick the fucking hot pot. Slip in the water. So now when I slip, I hit my head on the bump. Boom. But. I got a perfect, so now I got this bruise on my bunk. We don't even really have no. So when I when I hit my head on the bunk, he jump up, he grab me. So now we sitting in the bunk, I mean sitting in the cell, like holding each other. Like it's a wall right here. We can't even really just move or nothing because it's really not even no, no room like that. The SSI, the night shift SSI Kool-Aid. That's the name. And I was like, man, trying to remember this fucking fool name. <laughs> Cause when the dude DM him, he DMing me like, yeah, I broke, remember I broke your fucking face. So check it out. I don't really even check the messages. But since I moved the the meta, my meta whole platform to the to the laptop. Right, because I'm doing a YouTube thing. You got to load your YouTube videos from a laptop because you got to keep YouTube up. Like, uh, you got to keep YouTube is not mobile friendly at all. But anyway, so I'm um, I'm on the laptop and just, so now it's showing me all these messages. Man, I got messages all the way from March. Also, I, I, didn't, have a, I didn't have a messenger. They switched it. So I, I didn't have a messenger downloaded, so I had to end it up downloading a messenger or whatever. To, so now I can see all the all the fucking messages, right? So I got messages all the way from like March, and um, I'm just, but the, like the top one of the messages, like probably like from like a month ago. I'm looking, and it's like it's like a, from a fake page though, but it's like yeah, you remember I broke your fucking face, I broke your son's face in TDCJ. And then I guess the, the message I sent like an automated response. And then he was like, yeah, fool, I, remember me, bro? I broke your face in TDC. And I was like, what? You broke my... So, okay, keep in mind now, right? I got this bruise on my head with the perfect 90 degree angle sitting on the side of my head. So let me tell you how, how prison is, right? Because in... What if a Spanish, uh, Hispanic dude, you know what I mean? Like, Hispanic dude with a black dude, that's like, like, shoot, you know what I mean? Shoot. With the Hispanics, you get you some, the Hispanic get them some props, you know what I mean? So, this dude going around telling everybody in Spanish how he didn't, how he hugged me in the, in the, in the, in the cell. I mentioned Kool-Aid, the third ship SSI. 
Cause while we wrestling, or uh, how we in the cell, he holding me. Kool Aid walk up like, man, what's up? Y'all, y'all tripping? So Rick, the Rico, the Puerto Rican Rico, he like, go get the law, go get the law, go get the law, go get the law. <laughs> so Kool Aid looking like, man, what's up, bro? Go, go get the law. I'm like, nah, nah, nah. He like, man, you want? I'm like, nah, bro. I'm gonna go get no fucking party. It's like two, three in the morning, and. On the run, when you're on a, in a, on a unit like that, if you go to fighting at 3 in the morning, like on a real unit with a run, with like the one, two, three tiers, like every the, everybody, people going to wake up. Everybody going to hear it. You going to, the whole wing can hear it. They can hear you tussling. Like it's that, the, the quarters are that small. You literally can talk to, you literally can, on a run in prison, you can sit in your cell and you can yell out and talk to every... It's 124 men on the wing. You literally can yell out to everyone and have a conversation. Hey, hey, what you doing down there? Oh, shit, we ain't, what's up, what's up? Uh, you literally can do that and talk to every anybody on this 124-man wing. We in there fighting, kicking steel, all kind of shit, you know what I mean? Hitting... So people waking up listening, this nigga in there talking about, go call the law, go call the law. Like people, and I'm like, bro, niggas here, niggas on two row, Eminem was like this, niggas on two row, like, call the law, what the fuck? Bitch, I call the law. It's niggas like literally, yeah, you know what I mean? But this dude, he, I don't know, was, was in his own world, I guess, so. The next day. And then look. So now I'm up. It's 3 in the morning. I, I done just had a fight over the funky ass fan. My head. I got this fucking bruise on my head from the bunk. So now I done. Shit. I done pulled my pad out. I done. I started writing a letter to somebody. So now. He gnawed up in the, in the bunk. Sitting in the bunk with his knees up to his chest. Say silly. If you want me to go to the sergeant office, you know what I'm saying, to tell him the movie, man, I won't say whatever happened, man. I just tell him, you know what I mean, it's over, right? I'm like, man, that shit was stupid, bro. I'm like, it's over, bro. I ain't tripping, you know what I'm saying? Like, really, bro, I, <laughs> I'm trying to go, you know, it be, like, niggas be on, everybody on a different mission in prison, but most, majority of people go to prison, they be, like, trying to make parole and shit. Like, people not trying to get in no trouble. You ain't trying to get in no you trying to make parole and go home. You know what I mean? Now, it is some people doing with other different agendas, and I ain't mad at them, whatever. You know what I mean? But me, I was trying to make my first parole and go home. You know what I mean? But the next day, Rico telling all the, all the essays in Spanish because I got this bruise on my head. But the bruise got a perfect 90 degree angle. Like the, even the the rank, the rank then pull, even the lieutenant then pulled me out. Was like, damn, youngster, you just you just pulled. What happened? You run into the door? They asking me if I done ran into the door and shit. You know what I mean? Like, hey man, better pay attention around here. It's a lot of you know what you do. Hit your head on the locker or something or whatever. So. Dude going around telling all the essays how he, how he hugged me in the cell. You know? Like, all the... All the... All the, the SSI, you know, he like, damn, you know, so that nigga was in that bitch. What you was doing? They thinking I'm really on... They thinking I am really was really on his ass because he telling me... He like, man, go get the law, go get the law. But really, we didn't even... It really wasn't. He swing. You know, I move. I swing. And then I slip, hit my head on the bunk, and he and now we in there holding each other for about two, three minutes. You know what I mean? We in the cell, like holding each other. Go get the law, go get the law, go get the law. So, and this dude, and, and what's even crazier, right? I was on this unit for four years. The dude was here on the same unit. We were in, we ended up, this was my first wing, A wing, three bunk. Seven, 17 cell. I mean, three, three row, 17 cell. My, my first, the first wing that I got to. The, uh, I stay here for like four, four some years, right? 
or a little bit over four years. Four and a half years I'm on this unit, and the dude was here. We ended up on other wing. We was on C-wing together. I think we were on medium custody together. We ended up, like, in the same place a couple other times, and it never was in. This dude never, we never, he never said nothing to me. We never, it was never anything after that. I'm talking about in the closed quarters, seeing each other every day. We had that one little tough tussle over the cell, and we still were sellies for about another couple weeks, and then they moved me again, or we ended up, or he ended up catching out. A Mexican chased him, uh, or he ended up moving, and then he ended up catching out the wing. Some old Mexican, he running down the run, like Usain Bolt. A Mexican chasing him out the cell. He was running, and that boy, like, Jump, slid down the fucking rail like Dennis the Menace, all the way from damn near three row all the way to run row at the cell, catching out the wing. And now it's fucking 13, uh, 12 years, 12 years, 13 years later. And he in my inbox, talking about he, remember I broke your face? And I just was like, bro, you fucking follow me? And then it's from a fake page. This nigga not even like in Houston. This nigga not in Texas. It's like nigga somewhere up east somewhere. I'm like, you follow me, bro? Like, damn. <laughs> I'm like, you follow me, bro? <laughs> but look, so the even the essay, like the, it was the essay, the Houston essay, Sleepy or somebody. He like, man, what's up, bro? Y'all Rico run around to my like Rico did that to you, bro. I was like, bro, look, man, it's like a perfect rectangle. Like, man, I hit my head on the bunk, bro. He was like, yeah. He was like, man, that boy Rico going around telling everybody he he did that to you. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man. But that's some old pretty friendly prison war story. Because I'm just, I'm the dude silly still. You know what I mean? Like, all that shit. Nigga, try, nigga offer me a week later, he... Trying to smoke. You, you, you want to smoke? You know what I mean? He, he want to smoke. Nah, he want to hit the vent with me and hit the blunt. Come on, bro. And now nah, it is. But but you already lost coming to, if you come to here, you already lost. Because in my, it's all about what's in my, you can't beat me on the, on the internet. It's not like, man, I, I be slapping profile pictures all around this mug. I ain't never lost no fight on the internet. Punch it. I be Punching them profiles and they punch a profile picture and they know. Like, you know, in my head, as long as I win, that's all that matters, especially on the internet. But that just gave me like content material, just being able to tell that story. I needed to, I, I probably, I, I swear, if that dude, well, I ain't gonna say, I think I did. My, I, I didn't, talk, I, I, didn't, I never really went into detail, but I did mention that I, before that I got in a fight on the video. I did mention that before I had a fight over the fan one time in prison. That was the only fight I had in there over the, you know what I mean? Dude tripping with me about the fan. But yeah. And I'm like, bro, you, and when I told, when I started saying that in the message, because I was like, bro, I remember my, my memory perfect, bro. I'm like, you was in there holding on to dear life, like, talking about go get the law. You was telling Coop, go get the law, go get the law, go get the law. And I'm like, now you tough man in my inbox, bro. But do you, do you follow me, though? Like, I'm like, damn, bro. That shit, that shit pretty tight that you follow me. <laughs> That's why I was like, damn. When I did that, that motherfucker blocked me. When I started talking like that, that motherfucker blocked me. So he probably don't follow me though. I don't know. Probably just seen some fire shit like that. He's like, I knew that was you, man. I knew you was the dude. I broke your face in TDCJ. It's like, bro, whatever, bro. You know what I mean? You follow me? You know what I'm saying? Like, damn, we just, you tripping, bro. <laughs> what you doing out? What you got going on out there? You got a fucking fake page with a bunch of videos from shit going on in Puerto Rico and shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker, you in Puerto Rico or some shit? Like, why you don't even got no pictures on your page? Why all the trolls be... It was a lady trolling me this morning. I ain't even gonna be mean to her, though. You know what I mean? But, like, trolling literally, like, she is like... I look at the profile and it's like, troll is perfect. It's the, it fits 
But I wasn't even going to be publicly mean to her. Because I ain't even about that shit. I ain't trying to make nobody look bad, right? Because I don't have to. I don't have to make nobody look bad. Only people that try to make... You only make your, make people look bad try to make yourself look better, really. You know what I mean? And I don't have to, I don't have to do that. I, I feel... I think I don't have to do that. You know what I mean? I think I can just come and just give... I think I can just come with personality and just boom, pst, personality. Stop. I don't, I don't need no whip bells or whistles. I don't need no controversy. I don't need no uh, publicity stunts. None of that. I'm going to just drop straight. I've been, I'm just, I've been giving y'all the story. The story was me and my mama and, uh, and I were, and me and I was a mixture of Fresh Prince of Bel Air, uh, all my sitcom favorites. The Fresh Prince of Bel Air, Martin, Steve Urkel. I'm a mixture of these, right? This is what I'm the character. The character I'm playing. I mean, you know, it's a story. You are telling uh, we we it's a story. Uh, it's marketer. We pumping cake at the end of the day. The beginning of the day, we pumping cake. So that's the story, right? We're just giving a, the story, personality. Anyway, that's a whole another another podcast or another episode. We, you know, just get into you know storytelling and mark. But anyways, so now I switch it up because you got to reinvent yourself. But really, I'm just giving you different pieces. Boom! Let me give you this a little bit of this, a little bit of that. You know what I mean? Switch it up for you because you don't want it to get old. You don't want to get old in the algorithms too. Cause that's me and the, me. The video with me and my mama on the, in the algorithms is messed up. It might be old, stale. It's not good for the algorithms. It's something about a video me standing behind my mama in the kitchen on face like Facebook. It's, it they don't it don't have no reach. They don't show it to folks. They don't they won't put it on your timeline. You know, same thing about saying certain stuff, talking about certain topics or subjects. I don't know if it's maybe the audience is just not interested. And won't, uh, you know, but I think it's a little bit deeper. Uh, but whatever. I'm not mad at nobody. Shout out to the metal again. I'm not mad. I'm down with the metal team, metal content creators. Uh, the pace that play, the pace that uh, pays. So we are here to stay. You know what I mean? We are here to play. I ain't even posting on shit. I'll post on YouTube. But uh, what I was talking about them trolls again like you already lost if you coming for me and i need you need stuff to talk about and you can't hurt my feelings one thing because really i'm not gonna i'm really little i'm i, I don't have to I, I don't have to even hype myself up that's broke i don't even have to hype myself up with that with talks of I don't care what people say about me. Or I don't care. Or, you know, I'm not trying to convince anybody. But I just tell you this. Locally, I'm from Houston. Locally, uh, locally, um, <laughs> shit. People, you just, you you probably heard. Uh, if you know me locally and huge, like you probably heard. A lot of bad, like bad shit. I know you have about me. Uh, I also know, and I know too. I probably I know that I can say that. Um, hey man, listen, I got a lot of I got fucked up shit down for probably more. Well, I don't even. I got fucked up shit. I had to answer for. I know people heard fucked up shit about me. My like. Most of that stuff probably not true. Uh, some of it probably just depending on what exactly they're saying. That shit probably true. Uh, so like I'm I don't give a fuck about none of that shit. It didn't, it didn't stop nothing. I, it didn't stop nothing. I realized that it don't stop nothing. Like you, even if if and that like council culture. And we in a, see, I'm telling you what else I'm trying to do. I don't know if the bro, 
This segment of the of the podcast is brought to you by Young's Bakery. Uh, Young's Bakery, one four five eight three Main Street. Any trolls out there? Tough man trolls, one four five eight three Main Street, Houston, Texas seven seven zero three five. You know what I mean? If it's pull up. Let me know, though. Send a message, though. Let me know, man. I don't go over there and fuck with my folks, man. They gonna put them folk. They gonna put them people in your life. They supposed to. They supposed to. If you troll and you come over there and fuck with my family, they gonna call the police. But if you send me a message, and, I, hey, I'll be there if you want to pull up on some, on some troll shit. You know what I mean? Uh, also, too, what I was trying to do is, um, my, my, I, I, I was saying, the, I'm, I got the characters, the Fresh Prince, uh, Steve Urkel, Martin, all together, right? To make this internet me and my family is the internet mixed with the Huxtable family. So a little bit of Bill Cosby, you know what I mean? The jello, jello, put the, a little bit of Bill Cosby. The, 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 don't cancel me. They're gonna cancel me. I don't care. You see, you can't cancel me. Look, you you can you can say I'm not gonna support him because of his views. We're not fucking with that cake. We're not fucking, with, but you can't cancel me like I don't. You can't you can't you can't call my you can't call me young and say that your son said this. And she fired me. That's cancel. Like, that's getting cancel. Like, uh, cancel culture. Cancel culture is not American. Fuck cancel culture is American. That shit is all the way American, man. I'm the epitome of the American dream. You can just, literally in America, you can be a, no, a nobody. You can literally come from, like, the nowhere. The bottom, the the place of, you know, of outcast. You literally, and you can rise and just ascend and keep going. No limit in America, right? No cancel, no limits, no canceling. Cancel culture is not American. Fuck cancel culture is American. All the way, fuck that shit. Fuck what they talking about. That's American, the American dream. What was America built on? The backs, the, the people that built America, the backs of the people of our forefathers. They was fuck them. They were fuck England. Fuck them folks. What you talking about? You know what I mean? Y'all turning to try to make America something else. Hey, I'm here. I'm American. You know what I mean? So, fuck class of culture. That's the American way. Uh, she can't cancel me, so I, I'm gonna have to hook up with some some uncancelable the fuck cancel culture. I'm gonna have to get aligned with with that with that, cause cause really I'm trying to do the my mama don't want to be on TV, she don't want to be the star, but if I make her the, a one of the co-stars, we probably have a little bit more action. She probably be the star too though. I just I don't think that. I don't know. I'm trying something different. Because we're not... People trying to make my mama the star. They want to put on TV. She... she I don't know. She like fucks on TV. So I figured maybe if... If maybe if they make me the star. And everybody else the co-stars or whatever. You know. Kind of like the, the, the grandma on the, on the, on the Chris Lee show. You know. Uh... And I think that'll jump. But I don't know if, if people I also I have felonies. So I don't know how that'll work. You know what I mean? But uh it's also too. I just I'm 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 giving it to you anyway in real time. And being compensated for it. So maybe I just build what I'm doing. Uh just just build on top of what I'm doing. And give it to them. And give it to y'all. Give it to the world. Uh, the story. I don't know. 
So, I'm just trying some shit. Y'all don't be out here just trying stuff. That's probably the problem right there. Now, you got to try shit in life. You know what I mean? You have to try things in life. Let me see if the bro is up. I'm going to go get the bro. I don't know if the bro have bad dreams. Seem like the bro have bad dreams. I don't know. I have to see. Joe Bubba's had bad dreams as a child, as a newborn. Maybe. I, I, I'm saying that because, like, she do that. When you sleep and they, be, and they start, like, crying or go to crying and they sleep, I figure some bad dream or something fucking with them in the sleep. That was Joe Bubba's as a child. I don't know what's up with, with, with bro. Bro goofy though, he just laugh all day. That boy laugh. I can go up there and wake him up out of his sleep. I did that, I just went up there to take him to go change him, right? He was in the bed with his mama. She say, come get him to change him. I take him to go change him. And when I change him, he wake up and just start laughing. He goofy, goofball. String been goofy too. String been say, I'm silly. She say, I'm silly. She say, uh, no. Tay Tay say, told her, String Man, you silly. String Man was like, I'm silly. Yeah, I'm silly. Say, JJ silly. Say, what about Dad? He silly. Say, Dad, that's silly. Say, what about Mama? Mama silly? No. <laughs> Mama, that's Mama mean. Mean as hell, really, sure. Mama ain't silly as hell, no. Nah. Man, it's really fucking, what time is it, man? I really was at the bakery at 4, at 4.30, at 5 in the morning this morning. Fucking wrapping up packages. I was reading, I keep wake, I wake up. Well, I do go to sleep early too. So I don't know, man, I might be uh, tapping into that spiritual realm. And so you wake up between 3 and 4 o'clock. I think that's the weakest period of the the the, the spiritual realm um, in the physical realm. I don't know, some Stranger Things type stuff. I seen it in some other movies too, where uh, some exorcism movies. Maybe that's the Devil's Hour Three. I said somewhere on the internet too. I saw that somewhere. You wake up at three o'clock. Maybe just somebody got a spell on it. I don't give a damn about no spell. You know? Uh, let me check all that shit out. I got something for... I ain't, you know, that's why I say you got to get grounded in something. Have you some weapons to fight with. Just when they get... When they get... Uh, when they get in that spiritual... What the, what the Bible say? We battle not against... Principal, uh, uh, we battle not the battle is not against flesh, but principalities and spiritual powers of darkness. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying. I ain't trying to preach to nobody, nothing like that. Lady coming for me, talking about you don't know what you want to be, bitch. I want to be myself with your old funky looking eyes coming on my page. You ain't got no pictures on your on your page. Come on my page with no fake ass page with just profile, updated profile pictures all down your timeline. Get the fuck out of here, man. You ain't even doing this right. You on here spying on folks. You know what I mean? This social media is supposed to be about being social. You share, we sharing. Share something. You share something with me, I share something. I'm sharing with y'all. Them trolls don't even be having nothing. It's just updated profile. All you want to share is your updated profile pic. With you, with you all the way up on the goddamn camera. Your fucking this much of your face on the camera and shit. Get the fuck out of here, man. We know what you up to. You probably spying on your kids and on your grandkids. I'm on to you. And on your nephews and nieces and nephews. So you can go talk about them. Talk about with with, with your brother and your sister and them kids doing over there. Well, what they doing over there? 
over there, this and that, this and that. I seen him on. That's it. So I ain't mad at you. Come on with it. You already lost. You can't fuck with me. Me, Infinity, trolls zero. You trolls lost. Fucking with me. I'm up. Infinity. That's why I told that boy, Russell Rico, bro, I'm not even fucking winning, bro. You tripping, bro. What you doing out there, man? What you doing out there? I'm looking, bro. You, I'm looking at your Facebook page. You got pictures of shit going on in Puerto Rico. They in the fucking streets riding in Puerto Rico. Damn, bro. What the fuck? You ain't got no family or no goddamn car or nothing or shit. You ain't got no work job picture at the job or no shit. Yo, know, what the fuck is going on? And then, man, the same thing. Our trolls, it's going to always be just updated profile pictures. Y'all you know, like, nah, what's going on, man? Let us in. Share what's going on with y'all. We want to see. You know, why you over here trolling and stuff? I ain't mad at y'all, though. You know what else, too? Also, too, it's hard to be a, and I was just, this was on my mind. Cause I'm just, I peak some more negative energy. Like when it be people, say you in the industry with some the same industry, right? You make a, you a shoemaker. You a up and coming shoemaker. The older shoemakers like feel some kind of way. You you looking up to older shoemaker. Oh, you made the what you call a shoe. Oh, you made that. You, you can be looking up to these folks, you know, like as a fan and with admiration and stuff of their work. And they'll be looking, the older shoemakers will be looking at the up and coming shoemakers like competition. Oh, this motherfucker coming from my spot. I pick, like, so it's just hard to be a, uh, uh it's not, it's not, I'm not going to say that, because I don't want to discourage being just an all right, being an all right human, man, being an all right person, like for real, nobody perfect, but I don't know, life relative, whole ass shit relative, like what you might think is some whole ass shit, the other person might not think that's some whole ass, you know what I mean, it's stuff that I, I people do, and I say, I'm just like, damn, bro. I just be thinking in my head. Somebody, and I've done this multiple times. Somebody, you just be talking, and they just be tell you telling somebody that told me something about them and another person, you know, some shit. And just in my head, I'd be like, "Damn, bro, you that's some whole ass shit." Like niggas be on some whole ass shit, but I guess that's relative. Like some dudes think that. Fucking a nigga gal is real. Some dudes think that that shit some whole ass shit. Like fucking your homeboy gal. You know what I mean? Some niggas think that fucking a nigga wife is like, that shit is the talk of the, that be they, that's they, that's what they got going. The, 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 the excitement in their life. You know what I mean? Niggas be on that. Yeah, be fucking that nigga wild, this and that, this and that. That's, that's the live shit they got. Cause, you know, people we always want to share what we got going on with the, you know, with our with our tribe. Some dudes be trying to hit their homeboy guy. Like some niggas be on that. They think that shit is real and make them real because it make you better than him. I fucking that nigga guy. This and that. This and that. It make you real. But some people look at that shit like, I don't break. Gotta be a certain like to do that or to be that kind of way. Just got to be a certain kind of person. You know what I mean? And I ain't perfect shit. I know I done done some real fuck. I done done some shit where you could say, man, that, uh, man, that's a certain type of person. You know what I mean? I could fit in that category with, with some things. So I ain't the judge. I'm just saying on for me and just how I see shit. Because I'm great. Everybody going to grade and see the world through their own lens, you know what I mean? So, hey, I'm not saying that, I, that's why I say it's our relative. Like, I might think something real that the next man might not think is real, 
you know, or might not think. I think being myself is real, as real as it can get. And so that's what I just do. I just come on here and just be myself. I don't even have to get no haircut. I don't need no bells and whistles. That was the thing. The whole the whole no haircut thing is because it's not nobody else on the internet that do that. I'm not saying it is. That is not. But I'm just mean like in, in, influencer. No. Like, shoot. I could do a t-shirt every day and some sweats and some house shoes. And I'll be fine. I feel the same way about myself as if I had on some designer. That's me. And I, like, can't nobody get mad at the way I see things. Just like I wouldn't get mad at the next person. I wouldn't get mad at the person that's like, bro, you gotta always, you know, yo, yo, uh, appearance is everything. You gotta always, there's people out there that's, it's women that take, Three hour, two hours to leave to it take it take it's some women out there it take two hours for them in the morning to get made up before they even leave to go to work. They do this every morning. Cause they all they are all about presenting themselves in that glamorous way. I ain't mad at that. That's what's up. Everybody should be able to be themselves. If that's if that's you, do your thing. Hey, I'm going to do my thing. It don't matter. I'm going to do my thing. I don't need the bells and whistles. I can come with straight personality on y'all. And drop a whole hour freestyling straight. And you just talking about what? Good, interesting topics. You want interesting stories. You need some advertisements. Man, I can do. I got it all. I ain't mad at it. So I'm going to make try to get me to be the star of the show. I'll be the star of the show. Miss Young, one of the co-stars. I got the family. I got products. I got some felonies, though, so they could probably cancel us. But I got products, though. So, and if not even interested in that, maybe I don't need no, no network or no shit. This is the show right here. We've been having products, and we've been pumping them via, via the net. So... I don't know, we're working on another website too because we're getting trying to get more better nationwide products. That I tried to ship pound cakes, uh I need a better item. That was the whole reason for taking the website down at the moment we are working on. Because I don't wanna I don't wanna send people uh uh ship pound cakes anymore. It wasn't the best um, product, um, but it wasn't the best product. It would have to get there exactly for, you know, it's just not the best product or maybe, or maybe uh, I needed a better, maybe I needed a better way to do it. I don't know. It wasn't the best product. The pound cakes. So I'm coming with better products for the new website that we can get on. Um, that we can get pumped out. I think people waking up. I think I'm going and uh, wrap this one up. Me. Infinity Trolls Zero Fuck the Trolls Little Finger to the Trolls No 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 shout out to all the trolls man y'all show uh y'all keep showing love comment in the bottom too man in the bottom section